At home, we are expecting plenty of wet weather of our own later this week. A live look here at Everett. Blue skies, some clouds. Stephen, I think we should enjoy it while we can. Well, I think that's the case. Yeah, we're all <laughs> excited about the weather this weekend. I mean, excited in the weather center because now it's been a lot of sun and things like that. But we have another day of sunshine tomorrow. So if you need to get outside, do any gardening or last minute things, or if you have a, a child who's in any sports, tomorrow's going to be day, the day for that. This weekend, not so much. We're going to see a lot of rain and some thunderstorms too. But right now, we're taking a look at Tacoma. Beautiful shot there. 61 degrees and some sunshine peeking through those clouds. In fact, it's mainly sunshine and less clouds right now. Current temperatures throughout the region 62 in Seattle, 63 Bremerton, 66 Shelton. Where does that compare to yesterday at this time? Well, we're across the board. You can see we're cooler in a lot of areas in South Puget Sound, but it's warmer in Port Angeles and Hoquiam and Friday Harbor seeing that uh, warm uh, move in and we're actually seeing that as the day has progressed along because we did have some showers and then it moved through and it brought in some nicer weather and that's uh, what we're seeing. But there is uh, some uh, not so nice weather out there in the Pacific right now that's going to come to us on Thursday. You can see a little wind here on Lake Chelan too. They have some waves uh, happening right now and you can see uh, windy conditions in a lot of spots, especially on the coast too and through the Strait and in the San Juan Islands right now. But just a nice shot there of Campbell's Resort. Here's a look at La Push. The sunshine still out there on the coast. Uh, no clouds yet, but they will see some clouds late in the day tomorrow as we head on into Friday. The Puget Sound region tonight, though, breezy on the coast, the islands and the strait. Mostly clear, though, temperatures in the mid 40s to low 50s. Your sunset at 721 this evening and the Puget Sound region tomorrow. Mostly sunny temperatures going to be in the mid 60s to right around 68 degrees. Your sunrise tomorrow morning at 649 AM. All right, here it is again. Your Friday through Sunday stormy weather uh, story right here that we have for you. Increasing rain heavy at times on Friday. One to four inches of rainfall. That's a lot actually gusty winds too, below normal temperatures and then thunderstorms on Saturday and Sunday and then you have some high waves out on the coast too. So uh, not the ideal marine conditions either. Your weekend forecast both days showers and thunderstorms. You can see 63 on Saturday and 61 on Sunday. Here's a look at Paul's Bowl right now. Just some clouds there. The sun's trying to peek through uh, and uh, greet us for the day. And here's a look at the city of Seattle. I'll look back from West Seattle as it uh, looks over into the city right now. And a look at Everett at Payne Field, also a nice shot there. And we have uh, sunshine in Everett, so that's uh, that's nice. The radar over the last couple of hours, not much to look at, but let's show you what's going to happen with our future cast as we uh, start it today and uh, go through uh, Friday and Saturday and see just exactly what's going to happen. You can see uh, today by 11 p.m. clearing skies tomorrow, looking good in the morning, very clear as you can see there. But then the clouds start to move in tomorrow afternoon, and then uh, by tomorrow evening, Thursday evening into Friday, you can see what's going to happen. Happen. Yep, that yellow, that orange, that green. That's a lot of rain that's going to be making its way through us on Friday and of course leading into those thunderstorms that are coming on Saturday as well. Your extended forecast looks like this Thursday, mostly sunny skies and a high of 67 rain heavy at times on Friday and real breezy conditions as well. And that'll be 64 degrees and then thunderstorms and low 60s Saturday and Sunday. And then it does start to improve a bit on Monday morning as we head into the early part of next week.